December 4, Wednesday of the first week of Advent. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, went up on the mountain, and sat down there. Great crowds came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the deformed, the mute, and many others. They placed them at his feet, and he cured them. The crowds were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the deformed made whole, the lame walking, and the blind able to see. And they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, for they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry, for fear they may collapse on the way. The disciples said to him, Where could we ever get enough bread in this deserted place to satisfy such a crowd? Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? Seven, they replied, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets full. The Gospel of the Lord My heart is moved with pity. Thousands of people flock to Jesus. He has just come from Tyre and Sidon, and is back in Galilee. The people entrust their sick to him for healing, and Jesus cures them. A more important part of Jesus' ministry is preaching. Jesus must have a compelling loud voice, attracting many people to his teaching. Those who have been healed may now be following Jesus to listen to him. Jesus feels for the crowds who have been following him for three days. Their food provision has run out. Jesus has compassion for them and multiplies bread and fish to feed them. That is what the kingdom is all about. Jesus healing and preaching and feeding, people following, being healed and listening to the word of God, and being nourished with simple food. Jesus speaks today in the church. We are nourished body and a soul in a compassionate church.